Hey guys, Vlad here with the AVT Astro and check out the view behind me. We've got Venus down there, uh, Saturn actually, I don't know if it's going to show up on video, but between Venus and the next bright star Jupiter and the moon going on out here. So tonight I've got an interesting topic for you guys and that is grab and go telescopes. So for those of you that might not be familiar, I run a little Astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Um, I've been in the hobby for about 25 years, you know, I had over 100 scopes, so you know, I'm pretty familiar with the topic. But anyhow, um, grab and go telescopes. Why would you want to have one? All right guys, so to get started, let's check out the grab and go scope that I usually use. So this thing sits uh, inside my living room out there, kind of uh, in the corner, and you've probably seen in previous videos if you, you know, if you've watched my channel. And, you know, normally, you know, I just bring it out the back door, and, you know, I'm observing, like, literally, you know, instantly, essentially. And actually, let me try to show you guys. So, I can actually, so one hand, right, even with the dust cap there and stuff, with the batter zoom that, you know, if, again, if you guys watch my channel, you guys know that I love. I could just pick this up, right, and carry this around with one hand. So, pretty cool. Um, it's actually the OTA is a custom made uh, one ATX125. If you're you know, curious about it, I can give you more specs on it. Um, and it's a 5 inch Mac. So, very high quality optics. I've actually compared this thing to APOs and it compares very favorably, um, you know, realistically. These Macs are pretty amazing optically. Uh, the mount is a uh, Explorer Scientific Twilight that's also got a few mods going on. on if, you're, if you're curious, again, I can kind of go over what all I have done to it. Um, but anyhow, you know, let's kind of get more to the topic of, you know, why, uh, why a grab and go telescope. So tonight's actually a pretty good example, and uh, that's why I figured I'd throw this video together pretty, you know, pretty quick. So I live here in the Northwest. Uh, it's the middle of December almost, um, and you know it's been raining. I mean, everything's wet. You know, kind of pretty consistently for the last I don't know, I'd say two, three weeks. Haven't had a time to you know observe, right? Um, and you know tonight, uh, you know it's getting it's still evening, right? It's probably like I don't know around five o'clock or so. Got done working, my wife got back from work, right? My kids, I don't know, you probably saw them earlier in the clip, they've got their little friends over. So I don't have too much time to observe, right? But, you know, that's kind of the beauty of having a real light scope like this, is that, you know, we've got all these plants out there, the moon out there, and I've already, I've already actually taken a look at them before I started making this video, before the idea kind of struck me. <laughs> Um, and the scene, you know, it's all right tonight. I'm actually still waiting for the scope to kind of finish cooling down. Uh, but I know, I mean, that's the beauty of it, man. I mean, you just grab your little scope, right? Um, and, you know, you're out there ob observing. I mean, yeah, I've got an astrophysics 5-inch APO, you know, that I could, you know, technically be using and probably get a little bit better of you. Um, but I mean, you know, unless the scene is really good and, you know, unless I have the time, I'm just not going to set it up, right? Um, and if that was the only scope that I had, you know, even though it's a much better scope than this technically, chances are I'd be missing out on this opportunity to do a little bit of observing. All right, so we kind of covered, you know, why you'd want to have a, you know, grab-and-go scope. And, you know, besides grab-and-go, these are actually awesome for uh, traveling. Like, if you check out my blog, ABT Astro, I've got a section there for... Um, some trips that I've done that are kind of more overlanding type of trips and this is usually the rig that I burn because it breaks down really small It's really light, uh, you know fairly inexpensive. So if it gets beat up, I'm not too worried about it uh, So it's good for that. Um, so what kind of scopes, you know, should you consider for a grab-and-go? Um, overall, actually, honestly, my first recommendation would probably be a refractor just because um, and so a refractor, you know, that's fairly small, so something that's around, let's say, from 60 millimeters to 102 millimeters, so, you know, from around a 2.5 inch to a uh, 4 inch APO. Uh, for the reason that, you know, it's actually, it's a good grab-and-go scope, right? So, you know, it serves this purpose really well. Uh, but it's also a really good scope that you can use for astrophotography. It's actually a really good wide field scope as well, so it kind of, you know, serves multiple purposes. Uh, the next runner-up would be something, you know, like this guy, uh, either like a small SCT, like maybe a C5 or a 5-inch, maybe a 6-inch pack. You know, really, when you get to that 6-inch size, I think it's kind of pushing for grab-and-go to me. 
this is a really good size setup five inches you know you got a good amount of aperture i've actually you know taken this scope you know again as my only scope on trips and even for deep sky man i mean from a dark sky side, you can see a lot with the good 5-inch scope. The other thing too is, uh, you know, to kind of like complete this whole, you know, like real quick grab and go type of setup is, you know, I honestly, I, I really write like a zoom, you know, I, for, for those of you guys that watch my channel, you guys know that I love the batter zoom. I actually have two of these things, I love them so much. <laughs> Uh, but you know, check out my reviews of uh, other zooms that are out on the market that are less expensive. This guy's a little bit out of your budget. You know that zoom eyepiece, man. It gives you like the utility. Like you know, right now, again, I don't have too much time. Like as you can see, there's already already a little bit of cloud cover covering the moon right now. Uh, there's more clouds on the horizon. I don't have too much time, man. Tonight, I'm not. I'm more than likely not going to bring out any more equipment than this. And, you know, especially with the scope, with the focal length that it has, I've got a good magnification range, which I'll list, you know, right now uh, for this thing. So, yeah, I mean, this is, you know, all I need. It's light, you know, came out here. The cool down's pretty quick. Um, and, yeah, you know, I'll probably be out here for like half an hour and go, you know, go in there with the family. So, you know, hopefully this kind of gave you guys an idea of uh, why you'd want to get a grab-and-go scope, you know maybe what kind of grab and go scope to consider um so yeah if you guys have any questions comments or anything like that I'll leave them in the thing below if you're not subscribed again consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye